So it's Heritage Day on the day that I'm shooting this. And I'm thinking about being a South African and building a business in South Africa. And obviously we have a lot of challenges right now in our country, not the least of which is our power crisis with ESCOM. But I was thinking to myself, there is one particular advantage to being a businessman or a woman in South Africa at this point, especially if you are with EXP. And I want to show you what I mean by that. There is a particular aspect of EXP's model that is advantageous for South Africans. So um, quite a while ago, uh, this is a number of years ago, I coached a French real estate agent named Frank Brisson. Uh, Frank is a lovely man. He's a, a real estate agent in the south of France. He got hold of me through um, Udemy, which is an online course website where I've got a course and he taken my course and he decided he wanted one-on-one -on -one coaching. I, I coached Frank for a couple of months, but the language barrier was significant between the two of us. And so after a few months, we parted ways, uh, but very amicably so. And then when EXP launched, which I had subsequently got involved with, when EXP launched in France, I sent Frank an email and I said to him, Frank, watch this video. And I sent him the model explained.co.za, where there is a 29-minute explanation of EXP's model. And I said to him, if you're interested, I can then get the French numbers to you. So I didn't hear anything. And probably two or three months went by, and I forgot about it. And then Frank sent me an email out of the blue, and all it said was, Hello, Stephen. <laughs> I want to join. I want to join EXP, he said to me. So I, uh, I thought, oh, that's amazing. I went onto EXP's uh, France's website. I found the, the little join application link. I sent it to Frank. I said, okay, just click this link and follow the process. So Frank went ahead and clicked the link. He signed the EXP France contract. And as part of that, he put my name as his sponsor. Sponsor in EXP terminology simply means that I was the person that introduced Frank. No one can join EXP globally, all over the world, without listing an existing EXP agent as the person who has introduced them. Everyone has to have an existing agent sponsor them into the business. So he put my name as a sponsor. And then I had a, a couple of interactions with Frank after that, but again, the, the um, language barrier was just too difficult. And so what happened was we lost uh, contact with one another, and I let Frank go on his merry way. Frank was very quiet for a number of months. It must have been six months that Frank was quiet and no transactions. And I kind of thought, well, maybe he's not active in the market. And uh, we left it at that. Then one day I was going through my revenue share payments. Um, and this was for October last year. Now I've covered the numbers over on the video and the names because I don't want to uh, divulge all of that. But I was going through all of the transactions that I'd been paid on that month, and I was wondering why this was a particularly large payment that I'd received. And as you can see down the right-hand side here, these are the, the per transaction figure. So this was a transaction uh, that's from a lady in Port Elizabeth, 2,600 Rand. This is someone in, in Kempton Park, 1,100 Rand, 1,300 Rand. Uh, 2,600, 600 Rand, 2,500, 1,900. So as you can see, I get paid on average for each of the transactions in my group about 2,000 Rand is, is about the average that I make. And I was going through this list of transactions. Uh, there's one in Neisner, there's another one, etc. And I suddenly came across a deal that was th that paid me and you'll see, I'll come across it now, 12 and a half thousand rand. And I looked, and wouldn't you know it, it was Frank Brisson. So Frank had done a deal in France. Now, why is the revenue share that I earn on that transaction so much more than everybody else who's, who are all South African agents? And the answer simply is because of the exchange rate. This was a deal that was done in French francs. As you can see, it was done in Beziers in France. And because of the exchange rate, EXP calculate the commission uh, uh, during, uh, during the commission owing to me as his sponsor, 
and they then translate it into South African rands and they just put it into my bank account as part of the bigger revenue share payment that I got that month. Now, I, please just stop and think about that for a second. What that means is that I have an international real estate company. I earn a percentage of the sales of estate agents overseas. In this case, an estate agent in France. What would you have to do if you wanted to start a real estate company in France? Well, you need to learn French. You need to travel to France. You would need to get some kind of work permit to work in France and to own a business in France. You would then need to get some kind of real estate licensing in France. I don't even know what that looks like. You then need to get a local office somewhere. So take out a, a lease agreement on office spaces. You need to fill it with desks and chairs and computers and networking and Wi-Fi and, and uh, air conditioning and coffee machines. You need to put staff in there. You probably need to hire uh, not only like a reception staff, but you need to hire a, a manager because you don't want to go and live in France. You then need to start recruiting agents. So now you're advertising in the local newspaper and you're holding interviews and you're going to need to then start a whole business. I can tell you categorically that I can, I can I say categorically, I can pretty much tell you categorically, there is not a person in South Africa who is going to watch this video who is going to go and start a real estate company in France. The, the barriers to doing it are just so difficult. Well, um, and it would cost you hundreds and hundreds of thousands of euros to do that every year. My monthly costs of my business are 800 Rand per month. And if Frank introduces other agents to EXP in France, I will earn a share of the revenues of all of them. Now, let me expand that story. Um, on Thursday next week, I have got a meeting with an ex-South African now living in Dubai. He was introduced to EXP by someone in my organization. I sponsored a guy called Ferdy Abrahams. Ferdy sponsored a guy called Andre Foster uh, and his wife Lydia. Andre and Lydia worked with an estate agent in the northern suburbs named Kurbis. Kurbis subsequently has relocated to Dubai. When we heard that EXP was going to launch in Dubai, I say we, this was actually Lydia that did this. Lydia sent um, Kurbis in, in Dubai the, the Model Explained video. He watched it and he said, this is awesome. As soon as it launches in Dubai, I'm in. So we are on the brink of launching in Dubai. And when that happens, Kerbis is going to be joining. So all other things being equal, obviously I don't know the future and it's all God willing, but all other things being equal, what's going to happen is Kerbis is going to join in Dubai when we launch there. He's going to start recruiting other agents because that's what he's interested in doing. He said to, to me, there are no Arab estate agents in Dubai. Uh, all of the, the native Arabs work for the government. Uh, it's all of the, the non-native expats that work in the real estate industry. So here's what's going to happen. Uh, those guys and girls come and work for like two or three years and then they go back to their country. They come to make money and then they leave. We're going to have estate agents joining EXP and our team in Dubai. And we're going to be earning Durham's, in this case, Durham's. And then they're going to be going back to the UK and to Germany and to Italy and to Spain and Portugal and America and Australia. And they're going to go back and some of them will work as estate agents in their nations. We're going to end up having a seeding ground for estate agents all over the world. And we're all going to be earning a share of the revenues of those agents as they work. If you stop and think about that, it is the most phenomenal opportunity. Because for 800 Rand a month, you can start a global real estate company. And it's not even the people that you know that's important. If you understand EXP's revenue sharing system, we earn a share of the revenues of agents all the way down to seven tiers. So you will sponsor someone who will sponsor someone who will sponsor someone who will have a sister in Canada or a sister in India or a sister in Dubai or a, a daughter in the UK, or a friend uh, working in Portugal. This is the way it works. It's like trying to keep lightning in a bottle. You just can't do it. It's going to go overseas. So, guys, if you are wanting to use your real estate career to fund an exit plan for yourself, if you're looking for a way to generate passive income while doing what you currently do, 
I beg of you, please take another look at the EXP model. This is a phenomenal global opportunity, and I would delight to be able to speak uh, to you personally and answer your questions and help you make the right decision for yourself. Maybe it's not right for you, but I know that this is right for a lot of people who are just not taking the time to look at it. So please get hold of me and let's have a chat. Bless you.